Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and today's tutorial is in response to an email. Someone asked me what kind of technique I use for sharpening my images and there's a bunch of different ways I, I do it. Like a lot of people I will use the sharpen, unsharp mask, smart sharpen uh, tools which are, are fine but what I'm going to show you in this video is how to sharpen using the high pass filter. And the high pass filter basically gives you a way to approach sharpening from a slightly different angle and gives you still a, a good amount of control over the look of the sharpening but it, in some images it actually ends up looking better than using unsharp mask and so let me show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to have to do here with this image is copy the layer by dragging it down here make a copy you can also hit control J or command J on the Mac to copy that but you're gonna get the copy we're gonna work on this top layer go up here to filter other high pass so bring up this little box here with a slider that'll go anywhere from down here to 0.1 all the way up to 250 and what I like to do is get somewhere in the 789 range Let's try and just go with uh, 8 right there, which gives you a very grayed out look, almost like an etching. Hit OK. Leaves us with this grayed out layer on top of the basic image. Now what we're going to do is go up here to the blending mode, which is set to normal by default. We're going to come down and pick one of the ones in this box here, in this section. Generally I will use either overlay or soft light. You can also use hard light. You can experiment with some of the others but let's go with soft light and what we'll do is come in a tiny bit take a look at these eyelashes here and there's without with the sharpen you can really see a lot more detail in there there's the before and the after the nice thing about it is if you decide you know what that's just too sharp I don't like it that sharp you just come right over here to the opacity dial it down a little bit and you've still got a nice amount of sharpening. Let's take a look at another image and one of the times I will use this technique a lot is when I'm doing a, a painting in Corel Painter and when it's done I want to try and make the brush strokes come out a little bit more and the high pass filter is a great way of doing that. Let's again copy the layer, filter, other, high pass. We'll go up a tiny bit here. We'll go up to 9.3. Again it gives us the grayed out. And this time we'll try overlay. And it doesn't really look like it's done a whole bunch until you look at the before and after. And there's tons more texture and brush strokes through here. See there's the before there's the after. So it really brings out those brush strokes. Now a lot of times you'll do it and you say, wow, that's just too much. Just come up here to the opacity, drop it down a little bit until you get nice texture in there. And it's a great tool. Uh, what you'll probably want to do is make it into an action so that every time you do this you don't have to go through all those steps. You just hit the action and, and then adjust the opacity if it's too much. So give that a shot. If you're not familiar with actions, there's a video a couple of weeks back that you can watch that will show you how to create an action in Photoshop and then you just follow these steps and, and set up the action but I think you will enjoy using that technique hope it helps if you have any questions don't hesitate to send me an email and I uh, hope to see you again soon thanks a bunch bye bye